Hey booze, if you tune in, tune in. It's your girl Kanaya Diamond. And if you don't know, now you know. Now you know. I'm gonna have a three year old. <laughs> you gonna be three? Yeah, I'm gonna be. Just saying that is like so freaking crazy to me. Like, my baby is literally growing up. But for his birthday, he wants a cowboy rodeo thing. So that's what we're gonna do. I thought he wanted to do like a swimming pool because he loves the pool. But he wants to do a cowboy thing. So we're gonna do cowboys and horses and stuff. You gotta look right here. No, I'm good. Wait, I'm about to make my protein shake. It's so good. You already know the stuff that I use to make my protein shake. I don't use oats anymore. I do sometimes, but now I'm eating like a really good breakfast. Um, yeah. With the honey. Oh, I added yogurt. This yogurt, and it's so freaking good. And then I used the honey. I think that's all that I used last night, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm gonna add some honey bunches. Adrian. Hey, Oh, I'm not using peanut butter today. I like to add a little bit extra milk just cuz. Oh yeah. Why it tastes so good today? It tastes good. Yeah. It's Sunday morning. I was going to go to church today, but I have to go grocery shopping. So, yeah. And I'm just not really feeling up to it to go to church this morning. I will watch the sermon. <laughs>
It's Dre in the cut. We're at all these, of course. Um, I do want to try one of these freaking potato salads. Smell some grapes. Look at Mary. Say so hi. Look, buddy. Oh, you're open. Um, blueberries, of course, because Adrian loves blueberries. And some squawberries. I know I did. Some raspberries. Booty. Why are you yelling her name, bro? Yes, sir. Do I want some blackberries? Blackberries be hitting sometimes. Those black. Oh, Y'all. Yeah. <laughs> These dried fruits are bomb. I just want the mangoes. Okay, yeah. The mangoes. And the freeze dried strawberries. Yes. These two hit. Nice and slow. No, take, take. You like cocoa? No, ma'am. Oh, well. I did not. Yes, sir. <laughs> they do got club crackers, but. They're a, they're the offering. Get some Cheez Its. Huh. Okay. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, oh. What? What? We just have to start trying it. You just try to make sure it's good. Yeah. No, it's cold phone. Huh? It's cold phone. Oh. Hi, Jacob. Hi, is it coming? Uh, yeah, hi. You want it? We're done. It's a lot. Too much. So I spent two twenty at Aldi, and I'm at Walmart. I'm only gonna get um, meat from Walmart. Oh well. Ah, uh, uh. yeah. This is my life, guys. This is what the meals. Knows me like you do. Nobody gonna love me. Yeah, even deny it every time I try it. One. I'm dropping shit. I need to get from over here, honestly. Huh? Hey, at this point, I want a cake.
Um, yes, these is fire. I know I look a mess, but we got home maybe like an hour and a half ago. It literally took me a long time to put these groceries away. But I'm going to just show you guys a few little items that I got. Also, just like a few things that I got that um, I feel like helped me. Like, because, you know, I fast for two days and now I'm back eating regularly. And I fast for those two days to get my body like a reset. So, like, whenever I do start meal prepping and stuff like that, when I go to the gym again, that... um. I will, you know, it will, my body wouldn't start being, like, weird about the new things that I try. But I'm going to show you guys a few things that I eat and also, like, what I snack on in between those times. Because, you know, to keep my calories up and things like that. So, yeah. Look at that. Me and me. I'm looking at all them snacks on top of that. Look at that. That's good. That's a little tasty. Hold on, let me give you. Okay, like I showed y'all at the store, freeze dried strawberries, the best. Sorry if y'all can't see. Freeze dried strawberries, love them to death. Then I got some um, dried um, pineapples and dried mangoes. Like this is in my diet because like I, don't, I like fruit, but I feel like if it's like in a package like this and I'm just able to like. You know, take it on a go with me. It's better than just, just like, you know what I'm trying to say? It's easier for me. And I got some beef jerky. For those of you who know, I don't really eat meat like that. But beef jerky, get you right. Like, if you rush out of the house in the morning, literally you can grab the beef jerky. Boom, you know. Look at my cup. She's so freaking cute. We got strawberries on it. I got this from Walmart. A blue one and a clear one and i think i'm about to get the whole collection i'm obsessed um i got these meal replacement shakes for adrian because you guys know he's a toddler he's a two-year-old so sometimes he just don't really be wanting food and i feel like this can help him out like you know so he can at least have something on his stomach at least like when he wakes up or when he go to sleep it's usually like when he's on his way to sleep he does not eat like that so Mary in the cut, in the cut, in the cut. So tonight I'm cooking tacos. And my mom used to get this all the time. This um organic grass-fed ground beef. But, you know, I was just like, I never need it. But now I do get it. And it's good. It's good. So I put this in my diet as well. I, I switched this in my diet. I'm like, you know fruit and vegetables like cucumbers um i recently just started back eating apples and stuff like i'm not really an apple fan but i have recently started eating apples more but i'm about to give y'all a life update i'm about to give it like a life update and also like what is next for me in the future because y'all who oh lord so come on Okay, y'all, so this is just like a life update in where am I going to go from now, like, you know, to the future. So right now, as you guys know, finding an at-home job right now is so freaking hard. Like, I found one, but it's just so many requirements and so many tests that you have to take. And it's not promised that excuse me and it's not promised that you will actually like get the job like they set you up for orientation and everything and then as soon as you like they be like okay you're approved of the job and then they send you through a course for two weeks and you don't get paid for the two weeks or some jobs do pay and things like that it's just been so confusing it was so confusing it's so stressful like that is like one of the hardest things right now is finding a at-home job like because you guys know i'm a full-time mom um Neither one of my kids go to daycare. Um, I do plan on, like, which is another thing that I want to discuss as well. I do plan on putting my son in Head Start because he is about to be three. Um, he did get the opportunity to go at two. Well, he's currently two, but he's about to turn three this um, year. But last year he had the opportunity to go, but he didn't have his two-year-old shots. But he didn't have his two-year-old shots. 
So, yeah, so we had to wait. But hopefully um, I can get him into a nice head start and things like that. Because I don't want my son to just go to daycare where they just watch him all day. I actually want him to go to a facility that's going to be able to teach him as well. Um, Bad boy. But yeah, like I said, being a full-time mom is so hard to find jobs and things like that that can work around your schedule or just at-home job periods because they require so much, um, which is not a problem, but it also is a problem because like you can only do so much. You only contribute so much of your time and things like that, especially when you have younger children like I do. Um, but yeah, and then as far as like apartment hunting and stuff like that, I have been apartment hunting for like years literally like it's been about two years since i've been apartment hunting for my to get myself an apartment and and it is extremely hard especially right now i feel like it's extremely hard right now because it's a lot of people that don't really want to move out of their like apartments that like rent has not changed now when i say like has not changed i mean like rent that's like 600 700 800 dollars like they don't want to move out of that that's that's like that's a good freaking deal because like apartments for a studio right now are like a thousand dollars and then two bed two two bedrooms are like thirteen hundred like no like you know so i i definitely understand them they don't want to leave and i will be the same way like because it's just getting chaotic out of here especially having two kids and trying to you know, moving the process and things like that is very stressful as far as it, like, as far as moving, the process is stressful. As far as finding an apartment, the whole nine is stressful. Finding the apartment, waiting to get approved, then moving in is just stressful. But I love the whole move-in process and things like that. Um, cause it just makes you feel good. It makes you feel like you accomplished something. So as far as like those two things, as far as working and finding an apartment, that has been very hard. I'm being very transparent with you guys, let you guys know, because I'm a young mom, you know, with two younger children and it is very hard. It's very hard trying to find those two things. Um, I feel like my life low key, like a lot of people have been asking me like, how's my mental and things like that. And I meant to do a six week update video but if you guys want me completely honest with you i'm gonna just say it it's been hard trying to keep up with life lately like and when i say and when i say like to keep up with life i don't mean like oh like i'm stressed out or anything like that i'm just saying as far as like being a mom and also still trying to find myself it has been very hard like you know i've been a mom for three years now um i was i became a mom at 18 years old back it up booty I became a mom at 18 years old and I'm 21 years old now. So it's like, you know, I haven't really had the time to, how do I say, find myself. That's why, like, with me being 21, I feel like this is an opportunity. Not even opportunity because you, you turn 21. But, you know, I just feel like my time. it's my time right now to actually, like, learn myself and get to know, like, me as a woman. But I love being a mother. I love catering to my children and things like that. Um, and I also want to know who I am, like with just Kanaya, the woman version of Kanaya, not just the mom version. I know there's a lot of moms out there that understand what I'm saying. Like, you know, it's like you don't lose yourself when you have children, but it's like you have transformed into a whole different person. So the person that you knew before. You have to basically like relearn that person because they literally change, if you get what I'm saying. Now, that's kind of like extremely hard because, you know, I want to do the best that I can, like as far as like being a mother, but I also want to do the best that I can as being Kanaya, you know, like I feel like YouTube is my thing. I love, I genuinely love posting videos, editing videos, things like that, but it's also a job like it's just not oh i'm recording a video let me post this this is literally like a hustle this is literally a job like you got to contribute those times you got to remember to grab your camera you got to remember to record you're basically i carly you know when people crack the little jokes all oh, you i carly all you do is record 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 that's literally what you have to do like that's literally your job so but yeah and i do i love all the support that i have been getting from 
the beginning and also just my labor and delivery vlog till now like i've been getting so much support people have been in my instagram people have been still commenting under my videos let me know that i'm doing great and i love that like i love to hear that because i want all the mothers out there to know as well that you guys are doing a wonderful job with your children like i really appreciate those like i don't i don't think like people really understand like how much that means to me when you guys like are in my comments like you're doing a great job and you know you guys love what i'm doing like it just makes me feel so good especially being a young mom you know i don't have those doubts of me being a bad mom but you know as a mother it's always a thought in the back of your mind am i doing everything right for my children you know so yeah um like i said people been asking me how is my mental uh i feel like my mental is it's stable it's stable it's in between it's stable like i'll say that like you know some days i have my days it's not postpartum depression i will let you guys know that i do not have postpartum depression thank goodness um my baby is currently two months old he'll be three months at the end of this month which is crazy to me um so i'm two months postpartum and i truly believe that i don't have postpartum like i do have postpartum hair loss i know you guys seen that earlier in the video when i was doing my hair i do have postpartum hair loss where it's like my edges um and stuff like that like the back around my neck and stuff like that um which is not bad because i feel like a, literally like every mom goes through that especially like maybe after their second child maybe like the first child it's not too much with the second child it's like you know it's real like i didn't believe in it but it's real um and but i feel like you know i have my days where i'm just like oh my goodness like you know i have those days but you know i also have those days where i'm like i truly would not trade this for the world even if when i do have my bad days i'm like oh my god why did i become a mom i don't have those days you know i don't have those thoughts let me say that but i do have those days where i'm like oh my gosh this is hard I need help like I literally have those days but I also have those days where I'm like I'm independent I can do this like you know it's like it's all about how like the how my morning starts if like if I feel like a lot of moms gonna understand where I'm coming from it depends on how your morning starts if you wake up and you're ready to cook breakfast and get the day started and then your toddlers just mommy it's just the wine and stuff like that it's like oh I can tell what type of day we're about to have this is about to be a oh my goodness i need a break day like you know or if it's like when i wake up and he's in a good mood i'm like okay buddy, let's go brush our teeth and let's go get some breakfast and blah blah i can tell that that day is going to be a great day you know like it, it just depends on how the day starts and i'm not saying it depends on like what my kids is how they act Maj yeah it is it is i'm not gonna lie to you guys it's dang near majority about how my kids are gonna act that morning you know I, I, if we're gonna have a rough day or not I, I not majority a lot of the times i enjoy being a mother um so that's my mental um as far as like my body and health and things like that i'm not gonna lie to you guys um for those of you who do know i do have health conditions like as far as like i have fainting spells that happen occasion uh occasionally like you know but after since i had my child i have not had any space spills or felt like i needed to pass out or like felt nauseous or anything like that besides the time that i have milk clogs that's the only time um but i feel like my body is very healthy i feel like i healed literally like a week after having my baby like i was good my stitches was good i didn't need to use any more pads i didn't need to use any more um you know the, the spray anything like that i feel like i was really good after the first week and i did also tear um and a lot of people have also asked me am i sexually active no my six weeks are up but i have not been sexually active since i had my child um i'm just not ready yet um so those of you who's being nosy um but uh also a lot of people have asked me just like what's next and if you guys want me completely honest with you guys if you're asking like if i'm having another kid no i will not have another one nope i'm done i do want one more but i would like to wait to the future like i said i'm trying to learn myself as a woman i don't want to build like i don't want to bring another kid in my life right now and i don't even know myself you know um but what's next as far as like me and my children i just plan on being like getting my own apartment and 
that about you? You know, being in a good place in life to where it's like I'm not so like <laughs> dependent on others, if you know what I mean. Like, you know, I can't tell you guys too much about my situation and things like that, but I will let you guys know like little snippets of it. But yeah, I just don't want to be dependent on people. Like I feel like it's I feel like me being the age I am and also having children um super young I want to be able to I want to be able to depend on myself and my children depend on me. Yeah that's what's next. That's next. Um yeah and also you guys see my journey of me going to the gym. I have been going to the gym for two months now really since I had my child so it's been two months. Um and it's been very exciting. I'm not gonna lie, I love, love, love the gym. Like, I just feel like it's just a place for me to be like in my own mind frame. It's something that I'm doing for me, you know. Like I said, like I said, being a mom is definitely very like it's very t it's, it's it, it takes up a lot of your energy and a lot of your time and i feel like going to the gym at night it literally just restores me for the morning time like like i said i'm a 24 hour mom 24 hour mom i have my kids 24 7 all the time i'm a stay-at-home mom so going to the gym at night literally is like my break and i enjoy that break i take advantage of that break you know like i don't go out at night to go party and things like that i feel like going to the gym is my break and i take advantage of that so when i go to the gym i work out i clear my mind i mentally prepare myself to go back home for the morning time and stuff like that like i enjoy going to the gym because it's literally a break for me you know um you're so sleepy you just don't know how to, you just don't know what to do people have asked me about like relationships and things like that i will let you guys know i'm not in a relationship um currently you know i just want to focus on myself like i said learn myself as a woman and things like that i just want to focus on myself and get to learn myself more to figure out like what are my next steps as far as like being with the person because i'm not truly ready for that um so yeah that's that i don't want to elaborate on that that's just that stop so yeah that's life that's literally life right now yeah mary is two months I sh he looks so cute he's growing look at him he's growing up i'm looking at him right now but i'm also like I could, you know i'm sure you guys can picture it but like yes he has grew a lot he's currently 14 pounds at two months so it looks like i'm gonna be carrying around a 20 pound baby this summer um but yeah and then adrian adrian got his first real big boy cut i'll show you guys the video he did such a first of all he got his hair cut last year on his second birthday and he did such a good job and it's like this time like this time that he actually like got it cut a little bit more i peed the toilet a good job yeah you pee in the toilet good job Pee pee is the toilet. You pee pee in the toilet? Yeah. Good job. Pee pee doll is pee pee Yeah, so Adrian got his first big boy haircut and he looked so freaking cute. He's the, I think it's I think he's gonna need a haircut every two weeks because it's growing back now. But um also also I told you guys one of my goals was by the end of this year to get Adrian potty trained before he's three. And you guys, Adrian is this close to being potty trained. Like he we was at the store earlier. We left the store. We left out the house maybe like ten o'clock. Or like maybe like ten thirty. And we got back to the house around two. And the whole time he did not pee. He waited till he got home to pee. Which that amazed me so much because I feel like you guys know trying to freaking pie train a toddler is like chewing on freaking rocks like it's so hard but he has literally like been doing so good he has got a hang of it and i love that for him so right now he's been wearing big boy draws for a whole week straight now and no accidents nothing like he's such a big boy i love him i love that he's being such a, a he's doing such a good job so People, if you if you love me and you really support me, you support me and my children. Drop below. Good job, Adrian. He's doing such a good job. He's such a big boy. Just send some encouraging words, some encouraging sparkles and sprinkles to us, cause he's doing such a good job, and I can't wait for him to get fully potty trained. So, like you know, whatever school that he attend, 
he wouldn't I wouldn't have to worry about diapers and anything like that. Like, you know, and we're currently on working getting him off of diapers at nighttime and he'd be able to wake up throughout the night to pee for about like, you know, by himself. But like I said, it's all in the works. It's all in the works, it's all a process. So yeah, we're gonna start we're we're starting off great already. So yeah. But like I said guys, that is the update of my life. Literally, that is the update. Nothing else has really changed. Like the gym, got a car, you guys know that. And I told you guys like what's coming for the future. I do have something up my sleeve that I want to share with you guys, but I'm I wanna wait till like it's a hundred percent official first like you know before i share that with you guys but just know that i got something good for you guys coming um and i also will have some guests on my the next few of my videos so i hope you guys are excited <laughs> um so yeah that is the update of my life like everybody wanted a six week update but i feel like I'm like just a six week update would have just been too boring of a video so I just kind of wanted to add like just a little bit more of like what's been going on and things like that um Amarian is knocked out but yeah and like I feel like I don't know I feel like I like to share with you guys like what stop what I plan on doing so Adrian wants a Adrian wants a rodeo birthday party so he wants a cowboy he want to be a cowboy and stuff like that so who i'm trying to figure out the location things like that for his birthday party because i'm very excited because this will be adrian's second birthday party he did not have a birthday party for his third birth i mean his second birthday because you know i just feel like he was very indecisive about what he wanted to do and also like i just feel like it was just more it just felt more, you know, real if he just spent time with me and his father on that day. Especially because Miri was coming. And I was like, you know, I want him to have a little bit of time with just us two. Before, you know, another baby come in. And it's just like, you know, he kind of just feel lonely and things like that. But, and I feel like spending money on a birthday party is so unnecessary. But Adrian has decided that he wants a birthday party. So we're going to have a birthday party for him. Okay guys, so as you guys see, 
I need my brother here. Hey. Like I said, I want to start back doing hair more. Um, so that's a little bit of hair content for you guys. But yeah, I'm about to go back home and cook. Like I said, I'm making tacos tonight, so yeah. It's 7.51. When I start your hair? Like 5.30? Hi, Dimple Face. It took me about two hours. Hi. Dimple. Hi. Hi. All right, guys. Hi. I'm about to head back to the house and cook, and I can go to sleep. Hi, Dimple. The woman part of the hat. Put on my part of the hat and my part of the pants. Love the red party. I ready the party. The web stuff. So put it on me. I read the part. I read the weather part of that. Hey, 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 Dimple Face. Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> he sounds shy to you. So what's up? You just do it. Yeah, I've been listening to Chris this <laughs> day. <laughs> I truly hate gas stations. So it's like me. <laughs> I Crazy how when he died, everybody really wished he was you instead. Now, now, Chris, he know he ate him up. He a.m. right on up. Yep. Hey, handsome. You just about took my heart out of my body looking at me like that white skin. Directly at the camera. You know you the star of the show? No, don't take it off. You're so handsome. Night night. Love you. I love you. <laughs> hey, sir. What is you in here about to cry for? It's time for you to go to bed as well. So, as you guys seen, I just like the boys down. I look a mess. I know. I'm about to get myself together and get myself ready for freaking bed because I'm extremely tired. Today been a long day. As you can hear, Miri just woke up. So, I have to go put him back to sleep. But it's only like 8 o'clock. So, y'all see my hair? No. 
so I have to get in the shower. Um, I already ate dinner. Well, we all ate dinner. So I'm about to get in the shower, wash my hair, do my hair, and then go to sleep. But you guys want to see me do my hair, so. Yeah, but I need to get myself together. So let me go do what I need to do with Mary, and then I'll get back with you guys. Listen, I already finished my hair, guys. This is what my hair looks like. It's so cute. Um, yeah, it took me about maybe an hour to do my hair. My camera went dead last night, so I was just like, forget it. But, yeah, I love it. She's cute. She's adorable. It's giving, you know, adorable. Especially the little parts. But I just got back from the grocery store, so I'm going to show you guys what I got from the grocery store. It's it's majority drinks. Yeah, this majority drinks. Anyways. I got some Capri Sun for Adrian because Adrian loves Capri Sun. Then I got some Celsius for the gym and some Alani. I need to go put these in my trunk. And then my all-time favorite. Root beer. I got some root beer, y'all. Y'all know why. If you know me. You know, I love root beer and the cream soda. But I meant to make my coffee because I need it. I can feel myself powering down. So I just made my coffee. It looks so freaking good. And it is. Look at it. She's 
so cute. Your girl got a new gym cup. It's so cute. Isn't she just... She's so pink. So me. Like, I'm just so pink and me. That's literally it. I'm about to make my lemon and cucumber water. I need some ice. Gotta get there